The pincushion urchin comes from the western Atlantic Ocean, where it occupies seagrass, meadows, and other soft bottom habitats. Pincushion urchins are a very wise addition to one's aquarium cleanup crew. There are, there are numerous reasons for this, but we'll start with one of the big ones. They very rap rapidly eliminate some of the toughest forms of algae. They additionally scavenge on organic waste such as fish species and uneaten fish food, which is pretty good for your aquarium. They can also be obtained at a small size, purchase size of usually between a half an inch to two inches, and a maximum size of eight inches. But usually in captivity, they get only about six. Okay, um, they are completely reef safe. More, moreover, they are less apt to knock over stuff, small coral frags, small rocks, shit like that, than our other urchin species. Captive bred individuals are now available. These are not only the substan substantially produced, but are even tougher than their wild counterparts. Indeed, their hardy individuals represent some of the first captive race species of, to become available to hobbyists. And because their spines are not needle sharp, they are a bit safer to handle, but even caution is still advised. Um, a gardener wouldn't use a weed whacker to chop down a tree, nor would they use a chainsaw to clip weeds. There is no perfect cleanup crew animal. They're, though they are likely to scrub rock surfaces clean, sea urchins, including the pinnacushion urchin, cannot get into tiny pores and rocks. Th this job is mainly for s smaller inverts, such as crabs, stuff like that. Now, the pincushion urchin, like, it's a scavenger and it'll completely devour everything, uneaten food, fish waste, however, if they do such a great job of cleaning that they run out of algae slash waste to eat, the keeper can offer a snack of seaweed such as um, dried seaweed, stuff like that, because they need their, um, they need their protein.